Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be working on the lights for the M3. We got those in. We're going to replace them. We didn't go with the LEDs. I stayed with the um, bulb ones. So let's take a look at those. This is them here. We're going to be replacing. So we have tail lights and then the uh, trunk lights. As you can see these here are faded. I think this one is glued on. I'm going to replace that and take care of all that. So let's get to going. First thing we're going to do, open up the trunk. We will have to remove this here, this lining in order to get to the trunk lights. And then for these here, come to the back here. I'm just going to pop this off. And then we're going to use ratchet just to pull these screws off. So let's do that. All right, so we got a 10 millimeter and it's one, two bolts that we need to take out. Set these to the side. Put that down. This should pop right out. Like I guess I don't think this one is glued in. So. Oh, we have our third one right there. Under the lining, there's another bolt right here. So that's our third bolt. After our third bolt is off, this should come right off. And there we go. Ooh. All right. So we got this off. You can see one, two, three. We're going to clean this up because it's very dirty. All right, you can see all the dirt and build up in here. So we're gonna clean this out with just a vacuum. Then we're gonna wipe it down. I'm just going to use some, uh, I use some cleaner, just spray it down, just kind of wipe it clean. that cleaned up Now we can take our new light. This is the old one. 
I'm gonna have to remove this piece to put on here. So let's uh, pop this off. Get this off. This one's torn up. I'm gonna have to buy a new one of these. I don't know where to get them. Probably FCP Euro or something. We're gonna set this back on here. Alright, so once you get this piece off, you kind of lay it on here and just kind of clip, push it in. It'll clip in. You'll see there's um, clips that it clips into. Just got to force it in there. I'm going to need new ones because these are just, you can see these are shot. The rubber is missing. But, I mean, I'm going to put them on for now, but I'm going to definitely need to replace these. Alright, so these, for some reason, came with this little tabs here which on my factory ones one has a tab the other one is broken off so I don't know why what that's about so I'm gonna break this one off just so the light fits just pop that off so once we got everything cleaned up over here we're gonna take our new light we're gonna install it. Basically, before we put this side piece on, we're gonna install it here so it's easy to line up. There we go. Get our nice hole in there. Yep. All right. Let's tighten this up. three screws just adjusting the lights in the rear here so they fit properly two and three all right I'm gonna start with the top one here because this here needs to be pulled up a little bit so it could fit properly for some reason it's not like there we go let's tighten this first I'm going to use this on there, a lot easier. It's on. It's lined up pretty good. Spacing is pretty good. So we're all good there. Let's flip it around and do the other side now. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Again, I'm gonna remove this whole thing. It's just a uh, thing here, just pull, pull, whole thing comes off. I'm gonna get our bolts.
All right. So now that we got that off, take our new light. Before we do that, we gotta clean this. You can see on this one, the rubber seal stayed on. This doesn't belong here, this belongs on the light. So we're gonna have to take this off. This shouldn't be on here. Now we can pop this back on. That's good to go. Alright. So back lights are on. Now let's put in the trunk lights all right to do the trunk lights first thing you're gonna want to do is get yourself some sort of pry tool or you could use a screwdriver you're gonna pop out all these plastic pieces um, I think we're gonna have to remove this also let's see um, I think this might pop out with this so basically all of these and these here so let's do that this down 
you can see now we can get to the back of the lights they're just held on by one bolt and as you can see there's a frog skeleton in here Ooh. Ew. we'll vacuum that out and get all this cleaned up So basically you just have to remove this one, these couple on the bottom, and you can just kind of pull this down. You don't have to remove everything. So just remove these here. One, two, three, four, five, six, about six or so, and you can get in here. All right. So this just came down. And I guess these have like a thing to pop off they just drop down and you can access the bolt right there <coughs> you see the bolt right there we're gonna remove that bolt same thing on that side that bolt right there just get that going I should take out the back lights This has a plastic thing that slides out with it, so it's this whole thing it goes in this way. Right up in there, it slides in there. Let's change this one out. Be able to drop this down. Pop this bad boy off. Maybe not. Let's see. Well, okay. That happened. Access this light. This thing is glued on again. I don't know what was going on here, but these things are all like there's like a clip it looks like right here. Okay. Let's go with a flat screwdriver. Just kind of pop it off. There we go. Got that off. Here yeah, we're gonna clean this up. This and then just need this over here. You can see there's a little lip here that kind of goes around the outside of the car here and then shifts in. So we need to get that in first. Tighten our bolt back up.
this goes slid right back in. You see, there's a clip here that goes in here. It just kind of slides in. as you can see all right so the lights are completed I think they look clean brings out the car makes it look newer uh, awesome deal I paid I think about a hundred and ten dollars or so for the lights I didn't go with the LEDs but these I think look perfect so like share subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video